let's talk about the passing of Hannah Kimura, who um, was one of the biggest stars that Stardom had and just universally loved. Once again, just a very, very pretty girl, great wrestler. Uh, talk about Hannah because it, it made it to the States because obviously AEW, we have a big uh, influx of Joshi, which of course Joshi, I don't know the exact definitions, but basically female wrestlers, Japanese female wrestlers, Joshi. And a lot of our fans know Hannah. Uh, I didn't meet Hannah, but I knew of her as well because I was qu quite active in Japan around the time of her uh, passing. So talk about Hannah, how big of a star she was and, and what happened to, to lead to her passing away uh, by committing suicide, I believe. Mm. Um, so Hannah Kimura was one of the most charismatic wrestlers I've ever seen in the ring. Um, she connected with the crowd um, just fantastically. And she's one of the very, very few people that no one seems to have a bad word to say about her, whether it's Japanese wrestlers or guys in talent that have gone over. People have nothing but good things to say. And because her English was quite good, um, yeah. a lot a lot of the um, guys in talent sort of gravitated towards her. Um, I know, you know, people like Bobby Tyler and Zoe Lucas, um, they were part of her stable, which was Tokyo Cyber Squad. Um, and they were they were a huge stable. And Hannah was in the middle of being pushed. She was she was on a Netflix show called Terraced House, which um was on in Japan and got into an argument with someone on the show. Um, it's a reality show. Um, pretty similar to things like Big Brother. D do you have Big Brother in America? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of okay, course. right. I didn't know if that was just an English thing. Or not, not that foreign there, Rob. I think, Big Brother's in, I think Big Brother's in every country in the world now. Yeah, but we know the type of reality show that we're talking about here. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> Hannah was in Terraced House, um, had an argument with one of the people in the house and i am condensing this um but the bloke had washed hannah's wrestling gear hannah was about to take place the first time stardom had been featured on a wrestle kingdom show which is huge um and hannah's gear got washed and it got ruined um she had a go at the bloke who had washed the gear um and that was that that was what happened um the volume of abuse that she got online um ultimately um led to a committing suicide um one of the happiest friendliest just pure people and the volume i mean we live in an age where you cannot get away from social media like social media plays such a huge role in everything that we do, whether it's business, whether it's wrestling, whether it's entertainment, whatever it is. And uh, unfortunately, you can't get away from that. And uh, I remember really, really clearly going to bed one night and or the night before, should I say, and a message had come up. I think it was on Twitter about she was posting images um, and someone had said, someone, someone's made contact with her, she's okay. So I went to bed, and then by the time I got up, obviously she passed away. Um, but it had a huge ripple effect on stardom, on the roster, on her best friend, Uncle Kiona, on Konami, who were her two best friends in a stable. Um, and I think it's important to note just how much of an issue social media was in this. And it came out afterwards that the entire argument was bought on by the producers the producers wanted more more drama controversy more heat, let's right, say more heat yeah. um and it was sort of elevated for tv sort of exacerbated for tv and uh yeah people unfortunately took well, it it's, to be it's real. terrible because she's she was only 22 years old i believe yeah, she was and you know you think well who cares about the online abuse of social media but for a younger person and maybe if she had some sort of issues too it definitely led her down you know down the wrong path to where she she did take her own life and that was there any type of repercussions for that at all or did anybody get arrested or was it just kind of like anonymous online burials it's still ongoing i know about five or six months ago was a report that came out that they were tr they were going through all of Hannah's tweets and they were going to try to prosecute the um, whoever was uh, and then it kind of I really didn't hear too much from it but I think from what I understand it's it's still ongoing and you get to shame 22 years old 
Uh, her mother was a wrestler as well. I mean, that's that's a yeah. parent's worst nightmare. Uh, I can't even imagine. You know, you know, I don't even want to talk about it. But that's got to be a parent's worst nightmare. And Hannah too. Uh, mm-hmm. Back in 2018, 2019, I just kind of want to just piggyback on some of the stuff Rob said. Um, the uh, a lot of the starting talent went over to Ring of Honor, and Hana, it was Hana, Mayu Utani, and Hazuki were you know three of the big ones that stand out. And they said that Hana was just so well loved in that Ring of Honor locker room and clicked so well with everybody that uh that it, again yeah she was just universally loved and you still see a lot of wrestlers in stardom and just around the world pay tribute to hana kamara uh rob mentioned um the match with mercedes uh, versus Kyrie, where uh, mercedes came out dressed up in hana's gear which i thought that was a great great yeah. tribute and even us on our own podcast we always end the show with Hannah's, uh, her quote, or, you know, her, her famous saying, uh, everybody's different, everybody's special. Every show we end it with that, because our little mm-hmm. tribute, you know, to Hannah to kind of keep her memory alive. Um, and you know, Chris, you've had friends in the business that passed away. I firmly sure. believe I've had friends of mine, uh, you know, passed away. And I firmly believe that if you keep talking about them, you know, they'll stay alive forever. And I think Hannah Kamar is one of those special talents that'll stay alive forever. 